It says it's running. It's got me in window. Oh, that's um. Oh god. Definitely not. Definitely is not um amnesia anymore. There we go. Oh Jesus. That's already giving me a spook. Do I recognize the name New Blood? Polymorph Gold Dragon sleeps with Polymorph Red Dragon, they have a half-up kid who's an intracrime sorcerer. Oh, I love that. September 21st, 1987. It's very loud. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. There we are. That's not changed it for me, but it's changed it for you. But Gary loves you. Does he though? Mort yeah, Mortis to my ears. And the folks says Ned style. Yeah, this is intentional. Brown sub taxi. Oh. I love the fact that that one makes it look like I'm one of the holy ones. <laughs> I mean, that was a, that's because I put it back up to the normal volume on um, on OBS. That seems like it's okay. If I confirm, does it change? We're going even lower. That bloody red dragon there is nothing holy about, though. That seems better. That seems a lot better. Ooh, that little man. I like using this one just because it gives me the, the halo. I can disable the demons, but not on, not yet. So in the fast is a little free game, just fun. Nice. Destruction. To move, use wires or the arrow keys or left analog stick D pad. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, okay. That was, that was all my instruction was just how to move. Okay. Extras. Conjuration mode. Replay intro credits. Used that concept for a while, but ended up having to rewrite it once Gem Dragons got added. That's fair. But I do really like that concept. I really do. Oh, let's begin. One, two, three, or marathon mode. Oh, three chapters in one session. I don't think I can do that. Used by Italian. I think it might be... I don't know, actually. It could be Latin, it could be Italian. They look very similar. Flashlight mode, lantern mode, turbo. Save file where we reckon. I don't have a save file. Cursor coming out of here. It's a Christian game, of course, it's Latin. 
Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Ooh, I have a map. Ish. It's a bit better now in game. Long enough to take a drive from that in years. Jesus Christ! You thought it how? It doesn't it didn't tell me how to use my cro Oh there we go. Thanks, game. Thanks for telling me how to use this. I was going for the deer at least. How the body of a pig? Yeah, that's exactly what it said. Cans. I almost got got within two minutes of playing. Almost got my first mortis. Like immediately. I thought that was me, like, you know, been smeared across the floor. Guess then use a cross on it. Well, this looks unique. Oh! That actually was. That I definitely didn't need. That I need to know, yeah. White spotting your character is next supposed to be the one part of the color priests have? Yes. Well. Weird enough, I think it's called a dog collar. Which, if that's true. Arf, arf. Ordered rocks. Puppet Lecture by Carl James Osborne, Connecticut's Historical Connections to Witchcraft, Satanism, and the Beast System. Wesden, 8pm. Wesden. It begins... Wesden. Oh, I see. Right, so I've just gotten the central thing there. Which means I've missed the tree. And try and find the tree. Well, this is definitely atmospheric. Also, because of the way the keys are configured, if I really wanted to, I could play this game with one hand. I need to go down another screen. Maybe? <laughs> Suffer, no! You're missing a little notes, I know. Maybe. Found it. Ah, uh, found you in your shady tree. Oh, wow! Today I noticed Amy's favourite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and the, bar and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've got an ugly look from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. That's fine. I go unwillingly, it just said.
once again it's a habit that slows the empathy out of paranoia and missing stuff. I mean, if it looks unique, I will try. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out of the middle of the gravel path. This is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Orwood seemed to know where he was going. He, drove, he simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Orwood explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Go on, back, see what kind of thing. I really don't like this. I saw that! <laughs> Demon. What the? I swear, ran it, when it ran at me, it was going rock. Like, yes, there's one right there. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they covered... They came in with their hands covered in blood! I guess they found a, deer, a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem, because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Oh. Yeah. Rock and Stone. Get my kiss coon. Rock and Stone, you ain't coming home. I'm really not coming home with that. I this following the deer rather than me is mildly disconcerting and comforting at the same time. Lydia, I'm blaming you. That deer. That's such a way of that. As he's walking along, I'm sorry, Lydia, but all I can see is the blue banana you have just you know, wiggling side to side. That's all I can see now. It was going after a deer going, worship me. How? I went north of me. What on earth? Food for it's better than you. I would rather the demon not have any food. I can starve. I'm not in general because demons are hot, but in this, I think I want to survive. I think. Oh! I, I saw that. Not intentionally. Take me home. Enter the house once again. Oh, thanks. Okay, the picture was haunted. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explained that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm. What? Downstairs to the basement, explained Amy was down there, but Amy was in the very back of the attic. Those are two very different places. Perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Can my pharmacy leave me alone for five seconds? Let my medicine stop texting and calling. Well, that's creepy. Also, the music stopped. 
Okay. I want a banana. Give me the abanan. Oh. I'm pretty sure there's control support for this. I was drawing. Oh, banana is not blue. I am the, the blue banana. Considering what we mentioned in um, in the um, resemblance of that banana, is it the Abanaka? Or probably to summon an online farm so you can see it if you like. Or your red dragon. In this, I'm a blue banana. Uh, oh, hi. I'm being followed by something. And it's not reacting to the grass. Oh, lovely. Also, that's a gigantic bed. I'm sure love possessing my enemy on top objects. Yeah. Is that just a mirror? I don't know. Could be anything. But we're going to go upstairs. Oh, lovely. Don't want to find out. I don't think I can find out. The only the only interaction I seem to have is I've got my movement and I've got using my cross. That's a very unholy exercise bike. Unholy weights. That seems fine. Someone someone's just spilled some paint. It's fine. Oh no. Oh no. That's a very unholy duck. I wasn't actually expecting to do that. It was a very possessed duck. Switch from over because I have dinner to make. Ah, I'm in the disc pockets. An exercised bike. You can get out. Specifically because I didn't think of it first. The unholiest duck. Spawn of Satan. Quack. Go upstairs, going back downstairs. It's fine. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, it's slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob's comes home tomorrow. There's an old sewing machine on the bike. I get something to munch on. Well, I'm right here. Gustarian. Honk. Is that your sandwich? Not anymore. It's a very big and luxurious bathroom. That's a very, very unholy brush. Unholy hand wash. I'm sorry, but what kind of luxury do they live in? 1987, they have a bathroom with a with a shower unit fixed in and three sinks. And only one toothbrush by the look of it. I'm getting mixed messages. Oh, I don't like that doll. Wretched hands tap my window, strangers fangs scrape my walls. Mm, kinky. Bring a starion with us. Nice. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic when I got up there. It was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she utters my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Don't likes you. Bugger off. Also, the fact that there's still no music is really, really freaky. Yeah, Thor's much. 
Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. Ask Anish about it the next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she'd rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Right. Oh. Oh, well, these are all very unholy. Clearly. Ugh. Support the place like so you can pick one. Pick number four. Ooh. There's a temptation for me to make um, Chen a magic user. Most unholy thing you imagine on children's bedrooms. Yep. You're telling me none of these are unholy. Not even the... There's not even a Possessed Simon Says machine. That. Well, I guess we're going to be looking there. I can't. I'm actually glad about that. I'm very glad that I can't look in there. I'm just going to go downstairs. And then again to the basement. Attic is you. Attic upon me. <laughs> Vasp. You are telling me the dress mannequin is not possessed. You can bugger off. They're always possessed. These boxes obstruct my progress. They must be unholy. Yeah, yeah, you just like getting your hand on my patties. I know you. Oh! I was going for the sheets, but apparently it's an AoE type thing or a cone. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. You really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we're working in has lots of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San, Le San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, I we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San, Le San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Very unholy laundry. Unholy water as well. Something wet is a real thing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me either. Nope. I ain't fucking dealing with that. Fucking hell no. Definitely not dealing with that. Really, really not. Nope. 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 I tried to do the exorcism, but um, nope. 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 Okay, none of them possessed, at least. Well, this seems pleasant. In the name of God, nope. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical. Oh, damn. Wandering room syndrome again. And the whole thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up at the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, mother, mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Well, this needs... Really? Oh, God. Um. 
Oh! Um... He is here. Whoa, she has come. Came, came face to face with me. Why did I go to sleep here? Why? That must be Amy. Yeah! Yeah. I think that's God. Lovely lady. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. I don't like that sounds like breathing. Touch for the very first time. Why was the Steam achievement for dying a line from Like a Virgin? Why? Achievement name. Now to commit mortis on my throat. Glow in the dark dragon dick. Mm. Oh god. I feel like my throat has taken possession of Satan's cock and cum. Ugh. Ugh. Well, you get your points back. I'm helping people save for the subathon. Help because the devil coming inside him. Yeah, pretty much. Wake us, Coon. He is the earth. Just gonna go. Just gonna leave. We're just gonna fuck right off. I really wish I could move or, you know, at least change it. from the Devil May Cry franchise. I like to make this devil cry and kick him in the nuts. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Yep, just leaving. I'm just fucking off. No, 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 no. Just going back to my car. Going back to my car, it's fine. It's fine. Lovely sounds. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm noping the fuck out. Ooh. I'll take care of itself. Yeah. Why is there a well? Well now. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. That's a demonic looking clown. Well, well, because there's always a well. Yeah. And that's not just a clown, it's a very demonic clown. Let's say Sadako. Is this stopping me from getting to my car? No, it's not. Quick, quick possession check. Let me in my fucking car. I want to go the fuck home. It's either an interaction button I don't know, or I can't go in my car. And now I just look like my car's growing a, dil a dildo and it's flopping around. There's no, no car for me. Ah. 
Must be the work of the devil. So I have to go back to the house, but the door closed. Let me, Lucifer. Oh, that's the well in the middle. Oh, well then. I feel slightly calmer. It was waiting for me to say that. I was, I was gonna say, I feel slightly calm now that I've got music again, and that thing fucking shows up. What do you think so far? Spooky enough? Yeah, I like it. I really like it. Yeah, that's about right. Also, I didn't. I, for a brief moment, I thought that was in game, and I pretty much nearly shat myself. Oh! <laughs> Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davis from your care and return to him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davis have already been contacted by your office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Oh, possessed water! I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. I would love a pew pew maker right about now. Spicy H2O. The only true drink. The spicy H2O. There's looping logic. Can I re exercise that? No, I can't. I'd like to exercise my right to um, tell things to fuck off and for them to actually fuck off. Fuck off, demon. Oh, there's no demon, so it must have worked. No possessed rock. I need to... I'm going to try and go back to the house because I don't know where the fuck else I can go. To ye oldy well? Well, it's he, well, it's he, well, it's he. A bad conclusion is like a Dyson um, combined with a water retrieval device from underground. Well, that sucks. Exercise. Well, you gotta exercise when you exercise. Oh, it's not following me. <laughs> oh, I am the icon of sin, so basically, you've got John Romero's head inside you. I need to blow you up with a rocket launcher. Sure, I can do that. <laughs> Could be puny. You're the puny one, puny face. Well, that was a thing. It looked like she spawned pretty much on top of me. Really? Oh, so it won't have gotten those two notes I got outside. Fuck.
Björken. Yeah, it's like music is sound from it's not what I'm doing it. Same. The bed was reset. Oh, I hope not. We'll go back down to the basement. Why? I'm fucking leaving. Yeah, that's definitely I'm the icon of sin. I saw that. I would rather not. No man, it's definitely a bite not a sewing machine. That's fair. Got to be super quick blows. Yeah. Thankfully, I've, I've found the pattern. I've seen the pattern with that. Oh god. Why is the doll there? Ah. But yeah, what, when the four of them um, around, um, approach around you, there's one that flickers at a different uh, rate, and that's the one you need to point towards. Concerning. Yeah, the demon breathing music's gone as well. Why is it the why is it the silence that gets me more? Oh god. Oh, look, why is there a face on one of them? Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father... She, my superior father with, when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. Because led us to anticipate surprises. Yeah, yeah. Also expected noise. Yeah, true. I, having background noise is just comforting. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you. I'm sorry, John. SCP Foundation got closer. No. No. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Oh my God, so if you want to this game and show to me on one of those places called Zeus, oh wow. Use you. They're not my cock, my cock. Both. Oh, okay, she's just got no face left. <laughs> what the fuck? More this. Which after we you know that four shows. That was quick. Yeah. That was quick. At least it restarts me at this part. I see how you tell.
There we are. Ooh, God. Ho, 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 ho. Jesus. What the fuck? Ed, hello and welcome, and thank you very much for the raid. Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. I'm... I'm Malkai, I'm a variety of gaming dragon, I... Yes, avoid a game, I ask. Strips open. Oh, God. Where's the kind of attack pattern? No, no, she doesn't. Huh. You've been doing a shout out there, Lydia. Huh. Nope, 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 nope. I see you're playing Baldur's Gate 3. Hope you're enjoying it. I've, I've heard some tales that it's breaking a little bit for you. Oh no. She's moving real fast now. Omnipotent gift. Oh no! Just secrets broke the game. Yeah, I'm just casually doing the way you do. Oh! I don't like that there's screen distortions now as well. Jesus! The playthrough, playthrough, yes. I never played this game before. You think it's about three and we're in act, we're act one. What the hell? <laughs> Quickest mortis ever. Right. Okay. Mortis. Bits you got that. Lily Abaddon, thank you very much for following. Hello and welcome. We don't anymore, just crash by walking. <laughs> wow. Get yeah, mortis. Yep. Patch broke a fair few things. Hopefully the new patch redeems it. Eh. Mortis. I should know the pattern by now, and that's still got me. Yeah, but it's making the snack. You are one. Good luck. Thank you, Vest. Thanks for coming in as long as you did. I'll see you later. I really need to be more cautious for that, but... Fix the floor cult. At least it fixed things. Just, you know, it has the whole thing of... With game dev, if you... It's like un unclogging your toilets and then your microwave catches fire. Like that? Yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing. I still died. I see what you're doing and immediately died. Loaded up earlier. My Texas broke, I broke with a stamina by accident, had to reload them. Your menu broke. Jesus. So if I do this, you're not going to go at me, you just f um, resume your pattern. Ooh. 
it's the start of the most created 17 million new ones. Yeah, that's pretty much how game dev goes, or programming in general. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you sneaky little bint. I will not high five you. Within 10 minutes. The first time, the last time, finish what you started. Thanks, Steam. It's a very unholy window. That mannequin's still smiling in blood, and I don't like it. Oh, God. And the, the presence of those crucifixes just made me think of the... Three letter phrase that will not be uh, mentioned, but with crosses instead of O's or U's. Thank you for the hydration reminder, DJ. Kill her, and there's a gun. That precise tutorial. <clears throat> so, so, yeah, I don't blame you there. Lily, thank you very much for the contribution to the one-off game stream challenge. So, yeah, it's all like that. You're going to give me a shotgun. Well, if you've ever seen from dusk till dawn... It looks like a cigarette. He come with one bullet. I wonder. That was probably a waste. Oh no, it's back. It's back. A gun with one bullet. It respawned the gun after I fired it at the mirror. Is the mirror fixed? The mirror is not fixed. Well, I'll do it again. Ah. A gun with one bullet. Who needs one gun with several bullets when you can have several guns with one bullet? Whoops. Let's see how we have reset the. Shall we? A gun with one bullet it always A comes back. Gun with one bullet. Didn't reset the mirror. Oh, you what the fuck? <laughs> I get too cocky. <laughs> And one bullet also comes like, oh, Mount found the hidden boss. Oh, I found the hidden boss. Oh, great. Great. A gun with one bullet. That's a surprise motherfucker moment. I honestly was holding it down and thought, like, hey, he's just going to you know, pop and you know, teleport somewhere else, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh, shit, I'm dead. A gun with one bullet. This is become, going to become the new fish meme. You can feel it already. A gun with one fish. Or a fish with one bullet. I'm just imagining a fish a instead of this gun. With one bullet. Oh, I'm being fished. Drawing games like this sometimes. Yeah, I know. What do those skulls look like the Twitch icon? Oh god, 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 oh god. What you fuck? Oh god. I just fucks you sometimes. It does. Oh 
won't be there. Shattered Faith, finally defeat the secret boss of Chapter 1. October 23rd, 1986. Game, please. Why? I was half a year old. <laughs> God, I feel old. Dear Dr. McLachlan, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move it forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are that thought to drive out evil. That's faith in shattered. You always feel odd. This is true. I'm happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully request that my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinal in the future. Yours sincerely, John Ward. Now the map mirror's not even got anything in it. Well, I, found, I think I found the... I found the gun with one bullet again. I'm not going to go fight that thing again. Well, that note means. That didn't do anything. I thought it was going to. I thought, you know, shooting her in the picture would actually have an effect. Guess I'm going down to the basement to shoot a mannequin. God. Damn it, my arse cheeks already red enough. Dark flow and welcome. They come with one bullet. Darth goes round the quota gets. You smell. I can't remember what that's from, but I just remember I did it like that. Okay, so it's not down here. I still don't know there's how many of mannequins. Especially one down, the one here looks like it's slightly hiding behind the pillar. Me. You know, it's the mark of a very good horror game when they give you a gun and you don't feel safe with it. Or a weapon of some kind. Amy did eat herself from the attic window. Why would she be in the house? I don't know. You never know. She might have fallen, tripped, and then crawled back in. I don't know. Also, why is this exorcist's um, plan to, you know, just shoot her? That's not a good idea. I'm sorry, is that Moonlight Sonata digitized in reverse? Uh, do you know demonic antics? I mean, I've got a couple of demon OCs, but all they really seem to want to do is fuck. God solves problem. Yes. That's doing a very good job of making this ultra creepy. Uh, can I go off the beaten path? By beaten path, I mean the very clearly defined path they're setting out for me with the gaps in the trees. All outside music backwards. Fun! Um, and you are dead. I don't know why I did that.
The silence and lack of a body saying there has really, really disturbed me out. Yeah, you can shoot him. Apparently, go back and get another gun. I just must seen inside bombs by a cold bluff with us, yeah? Stop looking so spooky. Bang. Weird enough, it's actually also means... I don't like the arrangement of those rocks. I really don't. Can we just go home? I really would like to. Just go down to there. Then you go up to there. Then you go down here. Then you go here. And then you go up here. And that, kids, is how you make a pentagram. It's fine. Fine, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to find my car. It's fine. It's fine, I just, you know, shot someone and I'm going to leave. It's fine. It just said kill her, but it was backwards and not saying who her was. It's fine. It, le it let me leave. I will send a flower. It is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh! I beat Faith. <laughs> I beat it. Murder the woods does not count, says you. One thing leads to another, reach any ending of chapter one. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you can't grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, in, um, whatsoever, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not to return Michael to see his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him has afflicted his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may no, there may, bleh, there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. This, the photograph is missing. Listen to that was the least likely than I thought you'd get. What? So what are the requirements that? Is it literally just leaving? Did I basically all the you know the thing of killing the hidden boss and killing um that guy in the woods? Are those just, you know random things I did? I got eighteen of the twenty notes. Boss is optional, as in not tied into any endings whatsoever. Continue. Oh, awesome. I'm back here. There's five endings. I'll see what all the other endings are now. Because, you know, it's only taken an hour and a half to get this far, so yeah. I mean, I'm not, fuck, fuck it. Find all the endings. All the endings are on what you do with the gun. So shooting that person was one ending. Okay. Let's try just leaving, shall we? Murdering innocent man for no reason. He was stood there, there was spooky music. Reason enough to me. <laughs> Can I just leave? I will say my war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. 
I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness, because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. Okay. He yeah. will deliver me and honor me. Fuck. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Ending five! <laughs> Faith in duels. I wondered if that might be the true ending. Which means there's three other things to shoot. Police and all experts investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on a Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal has apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had been told they appeared to be that of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that's escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would, cut, would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Jesus. And Airdorf was what was on the truck. Airdorf was written on the truck. But a child. It's Amy. Okay, so what three other things could there be to shoot? Found a person. Found Amy. I'm guessing it's not going to be like any of these in um, inanimate objects. Why well, think it's Amy? No, but that is. Take that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. She, she did. I mean, they gave me a gun with one bullet. Apparently, this priest knows how to shoot people for a fatal shot. Because, you know, he's done it three times already. One of them, you know, while they were charging at him. So I'm guessing that, you know, killing Amy is the... the false good ending. The other's random bloke out for a stroll. Yeah. Wrong time, wrong place. Which means I've still got... I'm guessing this one's going to be ending one because it's pretty much, hey, look... That's what that's the ending we're expecting you to go for. Murderer. Yep, ending one. <laughs> Wee woo. I got chased and caught by the Wee Woos. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. 
John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reportedly hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was ex acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police rec report, the officer called for backup after Ward began became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental, in mental institution. After a breach search, police located Amy's body in the woods now, near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. As Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over, it is, sure, it is suspected that he impersonated priests to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Oh. Oh, father, how are you this fine dead? Bang, dead. Something worse than demons, the court system. Okay, so that's one, two, five, dance on entry three of four. I need my gun with one bullet again. A gun with one bullet. I know one other ending. So do I. I know one ending, and it seemed to be a, um... To me, the other ending was a joke ending. I remember the other one. I suppose if I just walk around and, you know, see if there's things I can shoot, that will tell me what the endings are going to be. Or rather, that will help me find what the endings are. No Pokemon, yeah. What about the tree? There could be something linked to that tree. Because I'm pretty sure Amy wasn't at the tree. Just shoot the tree, it's fine. Okay, so there's crossroads here, so going down takes me back to my car, going right or left, I don't know where that will take me. Left, because apparently on the map that's where the tree is, in this direction. Okay. That is not the ending that I know of them. So I've just gotten the ending that I didn't know. My work here is done. I've shot a corpse. Look at that dead fox. Yeah, it looks like a fox. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah. The offering. Ha. Ah. Gods. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult and able to live to handle your own life. Do not let your mum and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mum and dad do not. We hope to see you there, Gary. God damn it, Mal! That was different. Holy Trinity su summoned Gary loves you. Right, time to go and get the final ending then. So I A think I know where it is and B I know what I need to shoot.
Unless it, unless the ending doesn't count. Unless the ending I'm thinking of doesn't count as one of the five endings, then I know I've got to go and shoot. Gallows who appears every time. Oh. I was just completely and utterly mistaken then. Okay, so after the well, we'll turn right on the crossroads um, screen. So here. Oh dear. I don't think I've seen the tree itself though. Like I've seen the the um the cabin and the well, I haven't seen the tree. At least not in getting endings anyway. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Oh dear! Oh. You really think your crucifix is gonna help you against deer, the one you dead? The Hunter. Well, that's all the endings. Dear, be afraid. Yeah. Gone too far. Find all endings in chapter one. So apparently nothing to do with the tree. An identified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Stirling this morning. Along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6am this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of Silver Sedan had swerved off the road and struck, into tr struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been injected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noticed the parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the a victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Oh! You chapter mode unlocked. Did it? I did it. No, that's not what I did. I've got all the notes. That's two. One of that's where Redwood Bureau got the evidence for it for Stangus. Those were words. Thirty-five notes. Can't do the prologue. I'll be over yeah, That's fine. I just finished it. Faith one. That's fine. I am now a grey priest with a wooden cross rather than gold one. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davis from your custody and return to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davis have been waiting here. Oh, it's that one from Cardinal Gifford. Oh, will be yours in a tussie. Oh. Sleep with a Bible upon my bed, and I sleep on the floor because I am not worthy to share the sheets with the fabled leaf things. It's your boy. One day. Charming. Oh, God! So that's the thing that um, I killed. Podcast on by the Eerie Cast Network. I don't know. Let's see. Hello, we do it today. Bye, good. I like the car. You 
Fucking hell! Oh, we took the three month picture. Fine. It's fine, you just. It's fine. It's fine. This is all fine. Why am I following the blood? You just killed my dog! Oh. What the fuck? You mentioned the Pope's Exorcist and then I went and watched Death Row and Recommend. Isn't the main character just me? Three months of hell to father, discover Father Garcia's backstory. It's 2am. And now I'm back. I'm, I'm Mr. White Cross now. Have you forgotten already? Notes people leave see, people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Press the escape key on the start button is a good way to remind memory you don't realise you have forgotten. I can look at my notes. U plus religion, yeah. Sugar is the work of the devil. Yeah, Father Garcia is the random guy you choose in chapter one. Oh, right. I don't know the fact that I've just woken up in the... I like that even less! Zoom. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you zoom away from that? Notice, Avisto. Aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any identified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Well, I just come back to the start of Faith Chapter 2. Because I went and got all of the endings for the first one. Do you see the gun with one bullet? A gun with one. Fuck off. Ah. Ah. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Friend. Doing the Amy Exorcism to finish a baking thing, yeah. So what happened basically was an Amy Amy Exorcism slash boss fight. After which she um, leapt out of the um, attic window. I went downstairs to find um, scrawled in blood backwards, kill her, and a gun. He picks up saying a gun with one bullet. I then went and shot the mirror three times, and got pulled in and went to a secret boss fight. And then I took the gun and went outside and. For each of the five different endings, you kill one thing with that bullet. Um, I first found uh, Father Garcia and shot him, and then got the father and son ending. I then uh, went straight back to my car and shot the what the white walkery thing that dashed at me, and got the true ending. Um, I then went back and shot Amy, which was you know the purple one, and got the murderer ending. I then shot a sacrificed animal in the middle of a pentagram and got an ending where I got basically surrounded by a cult. And then I went and shot a deer and got massacred by deer afterwards. We're good, hello, welcome. What's the time of the It's Faith. A 
I think it's Michael Boy Garcia was trying to say, yeah, I did wonder with, you know, looking at it three months. Probably, yeah. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon, you must then serve his demon, you must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family tomb when you are in need of rest. Gary. That sounds like I want to have a single bullet. Yeah, the, the gun with one bullet respawns if you use it improperly. And every ending was basically me restarting the last chapter. Into the spirit house. Lovely. Lovely. Extra lovely. Gary. The fuck did I just do? Oh, I see. It's then released those demons which have now formed four locks. I need to go and depossess. John is in a silly mood. John is silly. Let's get away. I mean, I scare, I scare um, people when I look into the mirror as well. It's usually me I scare. With great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Mary Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12th, 1969 in Voluntown. <laughs> Though not particularly religious, they taught their children they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Tilling Ghost Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughters Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Everything here is very unholy. Ah, uh, did wonder about the purple skull. Wonder where the twins were in one. That thing's moved and turned around. Amazon's fucked up, they want $5.09 for a 59mm bottle of paint. Jesus. Are you sure it's not um, giving you an Amazon market link or um, someone else who's trying to um, sell from Amazon? Because that sounds... I'm, I'm sorry, what? what the fuck? Don't you menace me with your gigantic dong? Menace with mine? Oh, Jesus. That's what I get. Yeah, that's I'm glad that the the checkpoint save was there rather than how it see how it could have been like in the previous one, you know, cutscenes with your checkpoints. Even that is making fun John feeling that's good downstairs. Means leaving the house. Six pounds for a tube of acrylic paint. What the fuck? I'm a sneaky beaky. My only 
three of them, it's eight ninety nine instead of the two for uh, Cheap brand, by the way, Apple Barrel. Oh, yeah. Very unholy graves. Very, very unholy. Must bless. Must bless. I heard my Atlanta. Yeah, something like that. I mean... See, I wouldn't do so well in these um, in these circumstances. If it's too freaky and, you know, it's like, it's one of those things that, you know, I really don't want, you know, no, feel no attraction to, I just get the crucifix and you know, smack them over the head. You know, the power of Christ compels you. Otherwise, I'd be like, right, crucifix, yeet. Come get me, demons. To put one of my favorite things online. Hey, demons, it's me, your boy. Nobody's thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see the strange um, woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. And apparently the part of Gary today is being played by Dresden. Who just walked past my legs and is now aggressively demanding head pats. Do I have another button for crucifixing? I do not. Gary's not to be trusted with pregnancies, he's really not. Okay. Aha. Play this game one-handed. Other hand is for cat scratches. This is the optimal way to play. This, this everyone, ladies, gentlemen, everything around and in between. This is what peak performance looks like. One hand for gaming and one hand for cat, cat patting, cat petting. Read that as pomegranates. <laughs> Mal is not to be trusted with pomegranates. It's patting. Yeah. It makes me look slightly less holy now because yeah, you can actually see that guy's face, which I'm presuming I'm presuming on the left is Michael and on and this guy is Father Garcia. Oh no, sorry, John. John is over on the other side and this is Father Garcia behind me. Big person Dresden. Very unholy statues. Handsome lads. Yeah, very average looking. <laughs> Thanks to Higurashi when they cry, I will never, ever, ever forget that phrase. Yeah, quite average looking. Buff as fuck. The chin on John, I know, right? You could cut diamonds with it. Oh, no. Oh! I can see you hiding in there, you little cocknut. Now I can't see you. Now I'm You got me to this channel? Maybe. Dresden, that's the internet cable. Okay, demon baby. I'm glad I went back in there. I'm glad I went back in there um, after... Um, after dealing with the first one. Time. 
just switch about bottom lines and didn't sleep well enough, I had that feeling. Let's come in as long as you did, Torian. Get yourself a good rest. You still might sleep if you could. I'll give you something entirely different, Lydia. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I miss him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the bathroom door and locked me in. Basement. Not bathroom. Um, and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Well, three hours this. Jesus. Stealing my sleep as well. Little snuggles. Yes. Sleep on something. Hopefully a bed, Pokey. Okay, these statues really need to um, keep calm. There's no reason to go losing your head. I'm going to go back to the church and, you know, activate the Save. Reminds me, there's like, the game, I think it was called Outcast. Age is, you know, really, really old, like one of the first, um, uh, 3D RPGs out there. And... It introduced an alien artifact called you called the Gamsav, which was basically a save crystal. That's so corny. Is this one of those? This is one of those. Oh, wait. Right, down, left, up, up. Dreadsense, release me. Right. Down. Oh, that's supposed to be up, not down, this one. Okay, so right, up, left, up, up. Right. Up. Left. And up twice. not. Unless it's... I need to keep going right until the thing in the middle changes to one of the other things. Okay. Right. It's still that thing, same thing in the middle. I'm not meant to do this bit yet. It's like. That's doing the same thing that the other um, place is doing, basically.
or maybe not. So that thing with the um, with the clouds is the only thing I can do. Okay. This is on me to sleep. I mean, in the previous game, there was, you know... That, oh yeah, there's the other thing. So, you know how I was going through the, um, the forest and there was Moonlight Sonata playing? After I had the gun, and when I was going through the forest with the gun, it was playing Moonlight Sonata backwards. So that was very disconcerting. I don't know what to do. Both Lydia and Vesper racing to be the one to snap, smack my patties. I actually don't know what to do. I, if they're giving me a clue, I am missing it heavily. Because from this, it looks like that also means that and he's pointing that way, so I go to the right. But going there didn't change anything. Let's say double smack counts out. No, just, you know, one from each side. I've missed a note. I've missed note five. On chat food cover. Nice. I really don't know, I'm actually, actually completely stuck.
Everybody upstairs has been dying. Oh no, poor Bean. You getting some hate tags on Discord as well? What the fuck? I was like, what? I've also got a Steam notification. Received a gift from a friend. I wonder who that could be and who that's from. And what it is. I wonder. Just, just quick have a look at what these pings are. Oh, they're all sibling chat. I'm going to look online because I don't know. I'm actually completely stumped. Sleep's been. I did this. Right, up, left, and up. I did that and it didn't... Right, up, left, up. I, I did that, but it didn't... Okay. Right. It's not working then. Unless it's up twice, I, I did that as well. Right. So, right. Twice, apparently. Why did it do it that time? I... I'm going back to the statues, I'm going to go and save, and then I'm going to go to that fight, because... What the fuck? What the fuck was that, any of that?
I'll see you again, he said. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I've been entrusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I've learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Oh shit. I have no idea what happened there. I really have no idea why it worked. Worked that one time and didn't seem to. Why is that all oogly? Oh, did that. That's not right. That's not right. Oh, God! Sure, John's now walking around with a key shoved in his eye. Stole the family legacy. Oh, thanks. Paid for more than apparently. That's not really how you unlock all knowledge, but hey, sure. They won't forget where he puts it. There's easier ways to remember where you've put your keys. Fucking shit was that? Three beers going through emo foes about foes? Phase. It was a tree. X to doubt. Oh good, X does nothing in this game, I can press X to doubt as much as I like. Yeah, doubt of that heavily. Really don't trust this. It was none of them. I saw that. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her children fear her. Confess thy sins. Feeding time. Day one of our paranormal investigation to the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before, evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even old Ryan, they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome, so we're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. That seems like a very stupid idea. But then again, following a child into a cornrow maze seems like an even stupider idea. So I don't know why I'm doing that instead. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found the stupid, spinning, grinning scarecrow. So I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops. It was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. 
Finally, I mustered a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. Oh, lovely. Logical reason for horror characters, heresy. Am I right? Definitely don't like this. They're pointing to the left. Oh look, Ohio. Pretty much. I already de demonized you. That thing is missing an eye. Weirdly enough, the same eye that I sh poked out of my own face with a key. Either I haven't... Quote unquote unlocked it yet, or there's something I'm missing. Magic maze, yeah. There's a fair there's already a few of them here. Suppose I go for the church then. Something about the candles and the... Right. Didn't realise those would have um, pictures if I got closer to them. Lovely. Hmm, very lovely. Night two, we're going to be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off the shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as the last walked into the room. It was nuts and we got it all on film. We're going to make the fortune selling this to the TV stations. Yeah, sure, that's precisely what you're going to get. Yeah. Watch the candles. Back around holy crosses. Are they? Is that telling me which way I'm supposed to be going? What it's looking like. Well, as we can to the blue banana. Oh, Mortis. I've got mortised. In a different way. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Last stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Oh. Give me, for I have sinned. for 
me, father, for I have sinned. What seeks have you yet to your feet? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Poor John. Yeah! What the hell? Why am I... What am I doing here? Yeah, Thor's much. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Harry's going to sound to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can get those boards off, but some of these doors... That's not the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape but very well, but to us it sounded like a, um, like laughing. Thank God we bought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back in town. Oh, God. Oh, come on, Twitch. It's my own chat room. Connect to it. Sake, Twitch. Oh, she's crying blood. Nah. Those candles seem like... It's telling me where she is and where I am. Excuse me, heretic. I'm the heretic. Fuck off. Oh, and now that's open. Joy. It didn't save my progress with the note. I thought it didn't. your candles. Hmm. Oh, there we are. I was going to say, it's hard, are, they, are they not going to trigger now? Darkness surrounds thee. Who's watching me now? Recent Oh no. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on the page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, is bleeding from the screams of the demon. Well. Oh, fuck off. Heretic brain, good Warhammer, no brain. 
I was thinking more the um uh the shoot the um, first person shooter from ages and ages and ages ago. What the actual shit? Okay. So I don't know which one I'm supposed to start from. Oh, two. The hate, the over, overblown H. Which isn't here. Oh no, there it is. Right. Oh God, do I have to do I actually have to remember all these? I do. What the fuck? How the fuck? It's counterclockwise. Could be. But I know it starts at two. What did I do? Oh, right, okay. No, I see what it was. That's bottom left, yeah. So if I do this, 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 it's a mother of demons. Oh, wonderful. No, it's, it was basically memory. You're telling me that none of these things can be exercised. Oh, lovely. I didn't need this music again. Oh look, there's a tree! Doesn't have a, um, a map this time either. Oh, jump scared by deer. Oh, that might be why the deer are like that. Oh, they look like they've been skinned. Three murdered in last and latest wave of futuristic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. We came out of a shitter. Want to have a demonic shit? The bodies of three young people we discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Inglis have the names of the villain portrait victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in paganistic ritual. How the fuck you can't kill someone after they've been beheaded? Pandemonium Regnet. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities do not specify who. Bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not the um, two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols and blood, matches the style of several murders that have happened in the Sterling area since 1986. The kins may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, 12-year-old girl by John Ward. John had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her in the woods and killing her. So ending one is the actual canonical ending. Demon magic. Investigators are asking residents, residents to report any suspicious activities to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood and the guards in English because after all they were degenerate devil worshipping thugs. Who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why has the music changed? 
Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like to think them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy, thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnat santani, vitae pandemonium regnat santani, vitae pandemonium regnat santani, vitae pandemonium... And it's just, oh, good god. And 666. Big up, and welcome. I'm here, John. <laughs> okay, then. Going fine on chapter two. Right, so yeah. Why are the why are the rocks indicating to go down? Why is that a puddle? <laughs> it's just happy to be there. Can't guess out. Demonic gravity. I'm fully break down people. Andy Tunnel. Sure, why not? Death awaits. No shit. Enter the candy tunnel. Tunnel sewer count. Okay. It is an I. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near St. Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels, where suspects had murdered John Bowman, aka the Candy Store Killer, was led to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Lovely. Satin lives. Satin lives. I see that little red thing behind there. I see you! Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. 
The notorious Candy Tunnel, known in the attic to be home to known the area to be home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indi indigent, indigent, has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens uh, to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bowman, aka the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past. Well, now. Key. Wait, that's not the way that I went. What the bollocks is going on with this place? What the bollocks? What the actual tit fucking bollocks? Oh, well, I've gone into a bit of a maze then. Yay! I saw that red thing behind the grates moving. Oh, it's going again. It went upwards. I don't know. I don't want to follow it. Why would I want to do that? Why? Why am I actually going towards the grates if I can? I can't. I don't know. Good, good. Good, good. Can't follow the demon. Good, good. Can't get my face ripped off. Demon can't get me. Read. No. When see. Don't. You it. When you see it, don't. Move. Okay, when you see it, don't move. Oh! It didn't like what I did. again What the fuck? Don't like this. Really don't like this. Oh, hell no, that's a hell mouth. I'm sorry, God, please save me. Oh, lovely. Let's get the quote list. Oh, mouth. Why is it giving me that there, but also, I don't know. 
We can go to a random quota case. I don't think he's having a skeleton of fun. I don't like that. I'm very certain that's a flashlight, but I don't like it. Oh, you... I'm sorry, what? Lily Priest, here I come. I'm leaving. Oh, I can't leave. Oh, God. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I could joke about a punchline. Brain, no! Who's on top right that's game screen? Ah! Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Oh, that's definitely still been chat with there being not. Oh, why? Yeah, I definitely am. Can't read that. Crashed your party. Enter the hidden sanctum. Oh, well, shit. I don't like what's going on here now. Switch. Thank you, DJ. Mm. Oh, okay, good. They hate the light. Let's go and fuck off. Thank you, Hydrate from Mind Lydia. What's up, child? This is why I don't like children, though shit's the same. You hate the light? Yeah, I don't like sunlight. Other kinds of light? Yeah, that's fine. Oh! Oh, I see what you mean when you say they don't like the light. Mortist all over the place. Get fuck away from me. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. All of you. Fuck you, the offy. Offy, fucky. Fucky, offy, offy, fucky, fucky, fuck, 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 you, fuck, you, fuck, you. God damn it. All over the place. I left a mortar stain on the floor, I'm sorry. Why the fact that I can't really do anything about them apart from. Hmm? 
less. Aha! Oh, mostly. There we are. Mostly keeping them away in one singular direction. to get out of the floorboards. <laughs> oh, I don't like this bit. I really don't like... You can fuck off! Oh, look, it's a key. Freshly eyeballed. Instagram child oogly thing note upside down crucifix. Wait, what? What am I missing? I didn't see any locked doors previously. Oh! I'm going to go around the quota, yes. Oh shit, I'm dead! Just random quote gets apparently my fingers and knuckles are ripped for its pleasure. <laughs> Jim? Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no better. God, there is no but you do have God. But then we found her so we let rest. Let us go. I will say both the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. I crashed the game. I crashed the game. 
Having a stare with Joseph. Unable to find any instance for object index na uh, 3 3097 name objects <laughs> chapter 2 co-op Garcia. At GML object considered to throw step. Somehow I broke faith. How? How do I break faith? Games exercise. Yeah, what we did in the stream. I mean, to be fair, I had nine minutes left, but <laughs> I was. Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah. I killed Mood. <laughs> yeah, I killed Mood and the game. Jesus. Did Ed Curse follow me and Lydia here? I mean, Ed did raid me, so... Apparently, by the, by the power of Ed, via a raid, I've broken faith. You break faith by questioning God, I think. No, it's, um... Uh, ceasing to believe. Question God? Fine. It's already here, but it was working fine with, with Lydia here. It was also working fine with you here, <laughs> Wigrun. I think it just, you know, took time to realise that we got raided by Ed. Ed's stream ended with a crash too. Yeah, okay. It's, yeah, yeah. The influence of Ed has down been felt, definitely. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay. With with the timing of that, that's where I'm, that's where I'm going to end things today. Um... That's a very good game. I really enjoyed that. I really, really did. It's also not showing me the gift. Like, whatever bollocks is going on with Steam, it's not showing me the gifted thing. Like, even though I'm no, I know uh, who it's, who, what it is, and who it's from, it's still not showing me. So, um, yeah, I think I need to restart Steam. I also need to. I also really need to. Um, update my um, graphics drivers because I think that the last update I did broke a few things for a few people and they've recently to fix that. So I just haven't gone around doing it. Do you want Baldur's Gate 3 is having issues too? You know, fair. Oh, we're going to be in for long haul in Baldur's Gate 3. Your current file 60 hours long. Yep. I was prepared. I was prepared. Like, um, people have said like, you know, the, the devs um, have said, you know, People are people, you know, before they even probably released it, people were clocking in playthroughs of this one game that dwarfed the Mass Effect trilogy. Trilogy. It's an even Tuesday because they started maintenance early. Nah. They would have done. They would not have done that without um no phone people. Because yeah, and that's not even, you know counting people going for side content side content they say it's around about 200 hours plus per playthrough so um yeah yeah gonna be going for quite a while with that i think and also the fact that i'm going to be that after i finish doing Far Cry 6 with fox we're going to pick up our own Baldur's gate 3 co-op thing so i'm going to be doing two Baldur's gate 3 co-op um, co um, streams pretty much at the same time oh uh... Yeah, I think I might. I think I have an idea what I would like to go for with um the character I'm going to make for your um your stream lid. Because the way that because I found out the way that it does co-op is basically every co-op save file is treated like a campaign. So all the characters in it, like including the player characters, are basically stored there. So what I believe it is is you need to create a campaign. In, multi in the multiplayer screen, there'll be a code that gets generated. You send that code to me, and I can join on the back of that code, and I'll be in. I also need to update Baldur's Gate 3, because I have not. If he has that, I'll probably be wrapping myself around a certain vampire. I wonder. But one having um, two other means character is in 250 each. Yeah. Yep, they definitely they definitely did not um, um, have any shortcuts when they were doing um, Baldur's Gate 3, that's for sure. But yeah, 
Really enjoyed that. Really, really enjoyed Faith. Going to be looking forward to getting through the rest of it. In fairness, considering the length, I am honestly expecting it to be maybe three streams total. So not next Monday, but the Monday after. I don't actually know. To be fair, I do not know if I'm going to be streaming next Monday. Because one of two things is going to be happening. Either one, the subathon's still going to be going on. Or two, I'm going to be recovering from subathon. One of those two things is going to be happening. So I don't think we're going to be doing Horror Monday next week. Hell, you know, like it could happen that you know someone puts the points up to put Faith on the wheel and then spins in and lands on that, and he'll manage to finish off on the subathon. Who knows? But um, yeah. So that is where I'm going to be ending things. Um, I'm presuming that Lydia is not going to be doing community nights because she is downloading a Baldur's Gate three patch, which is absolutely immense by the sounds of it. So yeah, um, I'm just going to be straight up ending. Need to nap during subathon like you're saying via Discord. Yeah, don't, I've got no issue with that. And so between you and um, and uh, Callie, I've got you know offers to not only look after stream but also you know entertain stream. So yeah. Oh, I'm like the whole damn game. Yes, that's right. I've, I remember you're reinstalling it because of uh, how much it broke. Yeah, four hundred thirty gigabytes. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense then. That makes perfect sense. Yep, not surprised that you're having to go through that then. Um, and yeah, because Steam will eat your bandwidth. Absolutely eat all of it and hog it. Um, so yeah, um, Lydia said about doing the Monster Hunter Rise community nights tomorrow instead. Um, in which case then, that is where I'm going to be ending things entirely from here. So thank you all very much again for your coming along, for your support. We'll greatly appreciate it. Whatever we chose to show it. Uh, special shout outs go to uh, Wolf, Caden, and Lily for the follows. Thank you very much um, for following. Welcome to the clutch. Hope you enjoy your stay. And out a shout out to Edit for Edit Ed for the um, raid. Very much appreciate there. Hello and welcome raiders. I hope you've enjoyed the um, end of the, the end of the stream. Edge. Yes, I've been edging at 22 people, apparently. But, um, yeah, next stream for me is going to be tomorrow at 11.30am EST, which is 4.30pm BST, where I'm going to be going back to Hades and doing more of that. You know, Greek daddy issues. Rico goes for a random quote. He gets fish penis. Penis fish, finish. Or finch. Thank you, <laughs> been edging 22 people ah oh, you gotta love it but yeah so until next time thank you again for coming along for your support and i hope you have a good rest of your day a good night a good evening a good afternoon or a good morning well the time is for you so then though stay safe stay amazing and mortis bye